Hi everyone, I'm Miss Kathy, Nature Detective, and I am here with my friend Rocky Balboa, who is going to help us today on our scavenger hunt. You know that Chester is nocturnal, so it was a little difficult getting him up from bed today. So we're letting him sleep in. Rocky, are you ready for this riddle? See if you can help me. A tallow butterflies who were once thought extinct lay their eggs on my leaves, which are quite distinct and toxic, I should add. So don't take a bite. Unless you're an Italic caterpillar, then they're a tasty delight. What do you think, Rocky? What do you think we're looking for today? Sounds like a plant. So I think you guys at home should get out your binoculars and help me explore. I found some milkweed in the Flamingo Cafe. Milkweed is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. But I don't see any Atala butterflies here right now. So we're going to have to keep looking. I'm in our wildflower garden where we have a lot of different plants that will attract the different butterflies. The Atala butterflies are black and blue with a little bit of red on them but I don't see any of those butterflies around here. I see a swallowtail and some monarchs. Hey, swallowtails, do you know where the Atala butterfly might be? <gasps> Said, try the Kunti plant. Thank you. Come on, Rocky. Let's go find the Kunti plant. We found the Kunti plant. Now the Kunti plant is a small woody cycad. Cycads are prehistoric plants and fossil records show that some cycads existed 280 million years ago. They might look similar to ferns and palms, but they are related to neither. The Kunti is the only cycad native to Florida. It has a reddish seed cone and all parts of the Kunti are toxic to humans and pets if eaten raw. But the Italic caterpillars love it. The Kunti is the host plant to the Italic butterfly. So the butterflies will lay their eggs on the leaves and then the caterpillars will eat the leaves. Since the leaves are poisonous, when the caterpillar eats the leaves, it keeps the toxin from the leaves in its body for its entire life. Any animal that thinks the Atala is a tasty treat is going to be wrong because of these toxins. This is one of the Atala's defense mechanisms. And because of the bad taste, predators will leave before, be, will leave it alone. But even before a predator tries to eat this unsavory insect, they have opismatic coloring which means that their bright colors are a warning to the predator. So predators will see these bright colors and know that it's something they should not be eating. Pretty cool, huh? And now it's time to check on our quarantine garden in the children's garden. Look how big our cucumbers have gotten. The tomatoes are growing pretty well and so are the peas. And look, even some of the sweet peppers have come up. How are your gardens doing at home? Now, let's give it a little water. And now, let's go and do some crafts with cats. Come this way. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Kunti plant and the Atala butterflies. Now it's time for Crafts with Cats, starring Grey Ghost and Oreo. And today's craft is going to be a, kun a Kunti plant that we can add to our diorama. Just go to flamingogardens.org, click on the education tab for the scavenger hunt so that you can find the picture. You can also draw your own picture if you'd like. You can print it on cardstock so it's a little bit thicker and is easier to stand up. 
after you print it up, you're going to cut it out, leave a little bit on the bottom so that you can make the stand, and then you're going to put it in your hardwood hammock. Now we added another hardwood hammock because we know there's going to be a lot more things that need to be on the ground. So you can take another egg carton top and cover it with green paper if your diorama needs more land. And now it is time for tomorrow's riddle. Let's see what we will be searching for on our scavenger hunt tomorrow. Many think I'm a tree, but I'm actually a grass. As the world's largest crop, they can produce me in mass. My reed is sweeter than you might think. You can use me as a stirrer in a tropical drink. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. What do you think we're gonna be searching for tomorrow? Well, start thinking. And remember, you can visit us at flamingogardens.org. Just click on the education tab for the scavenger hunt. And you can also visit us at YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. Have a great day. Bye.